Now what we've just done is a very good way of having a look at some soil mesofauna, but it's not going to be able to sample all of the animals that are in that soil. But there is a much more thorough way which anybody can do as well, and it involves a piece of equipment called a Tolkien funnel. Now when you're using this test, or indeed any of these tests, it's always a good idea to uh, compare the soil that you think you might have a problem with with the soil that you think is working well. So these are our Tolgren funnels and they're a really simple piece of equipment that you can use for extracting all of the soil mesofauna from a piece of soil. Now the way that it's constructed is we basically have a, a glass, a tall glass at the bottom, and inside that is a collection pot. This collection pot has got a little tiny drop of alcohol in the bottom. Now when I say alcohol, that's actually this stuff. It's 70% industrial methylated spirits. Now to the top of the glass, which has got the pot in, you put an ordinary plastic funnel, and those are available from any sort of kitchenware suppliers, and we've lined this funnel with a metal mesh. Now what I've done is I've taken a soil core, and you take these soil cores in a particular way. Um, ideally, you'll be trying to sample just the top 8 centimetres of your soil, so getting an 8 centimetre long plastic tube, and then cutting that into the ground is really the best way to do it. And furthermore, because some of these creatures can jump, certainly the springtails, then having a piece of um, net curtain over the top, fine net mesh or something, just taped over the top will stop the big ones from escaping while you're sampling your soil. So once you've dug out your little chunk of soil, you can then place it in the top of this apparatus and um, the creatures will then come out of the soil, they'll go through the mesh and they'll go down through the funnel and into the collection pot. Now to encourage them to do that, because they might actually hop away in the other direction, We've got to give them a bit of an incentive, and this is the incentive. This is a standard bedside table lamp. It's got an incandescent bulb. That's a 40 watt bulb in there. Don't go any higher than 40 watt, and you might end up cooking them. But what you do is you simply angle that lamp down over the top of the soil sample. And over the course of uh, a few days, it will actually dry out the soil. And the animals in the soil, they don't like the light, and they don't like the heat, and they don't like the warmth, and they don't like the dryness. And what they will be doing is they'll be moving away from the, those things down through the soil core, through the mesh, and into the collection pot. Over a, a few days, you'll actually find that there'll be a little raft of um, often springtails floating on the surface. The mites will actually sink to the bottom of the alcohol, and um, you'll be able to actually tip them out into a petri dish and have a good look at the specimens that you've collected, just look at the whole community within that soil sample.